Okay, in this video we're going to talk about precision, namely confidence intervals. And this is really all about making guesses, but not just that. You also want to know how close is your guess and how sure are you about that, meaning how confident. So remember that in inferential statistics we are trying to make uh, determinations about characteristics of a population but there's no way we can get information on everybody in a population so we just get a representative sample and based on the sample we make our best estimate of the population and the first place that we will often come in contact with a confidence interval type thing is during elections in poll data so let's say we have an election and what we want to do is estimate how the whole country will vote but there's really no way to ask everybody I mean that would be the election actually and so we just take a representative sample of random people from across the country and we get that estimate by measuring how our sample votes so we ask all these guys who they're gonna vote for and that gives us our estimate. So in our example we said that candidate A leads candidate B by 10 percent. But that's not the whole story uh, because we know that this is an estimate, this is a guess. So how close is our guess? That's why you'll hear in the uh, the poll numbers they'll say plus or minus 3 percent. So we think the real value is actually somewhere between these numbers, 7 and 13. But this is not even the full story. How sure are we of this? And so that's the other thing we need to know. And when it's not mentioned, we usually mean 95% sure. So, and in medicine, this is the number that we typically use, 95%. So our confidence interval is a 95% confidence interval, and our estimate, our point estimate is 10%, plus or minus 3%. So we're 95% sure that candidate A is beating candidate B. However, what if our estimate was like this? We had a point estimate of 5% with a confidence interval of plus or minus 7%. So we are 95% sure that our from our point estimate that the the uh, the real value is somewhere in between here so we can't really even be sure that candidate A is in the lead because guess what it could be negative two percent so that might means candidate B might even be in the lead so this confidence interval is spanning what we call the no difference point meaning that there is no difference that candidate A and candidate B are tied and it even surpasses it it, it even it could be that candidate B is in the lead. So this estimate here is fairly useless to us. So let's look back at our scenario with a treatment study. So we have our control arm where they got the placebo and then we got our treatment and say this is some sort of uh, benefit score that they have. So you can see that the treatment group got more benefit than the placebo group. And I put on here the confidence intervals as well. So let's say that these are 95% confidence intervals, and we also notice that there's no overlap. So we're 95% sure that in the worst case scenario, we would be here and here, that, there's, that the treatment is still better than the placebo. Now in this case, again, our point estimate is for the treatment is definitely better than the point estimate for the placebo. However, in our 95% confidence intervals, this point estimate may, the truth may really be over here, and for this point estimate, the truth may really be over here, in which case there is overlap. So this treatment may not really be better than the placebo. Let's look at a few different ways to look at it. So again, we just looked at the event rates before, but now let's actually look at one of these calculations we did. So here's the absolute risk reduction. And so maybe the treatment demonstrates a point estimate of 7%. But when we calculate the confidence intervals, the 95% confidence intervals, the interval span, let's say it was plus or minus 10%, the interval spans 0, and 0 is the point of no difference. So even though the point estimate showed a difference of 7%, our 
the precision showed that there was really no difference. Now let's look at relative risk, and remember that is the experimental event rate over the control event rate. So the point of no difference for this would be if these two are the same, or if this equals 1. So let's say our point estimate for this was 40%, and our confidence, 95% confidence interval was 10%. That means the interval spans 30% to 50%, and this does not cross our no difference point of 1, or in percentage, 100%. So in this one, the precision uh, would show that we do have a difference, right? We have 40%, and with our, 10, with our plus or minus 10%, 95% confidence interval, we do have a difference. So to key, the key to understanding this is to look at whatever parameter you're looking at and find out what point would be the point of no difference, and then see if the confidence interval crosses that point of no difference. And that's basically it, so please put any questions in the comments. Thanks, and bye.